Good evening and welcome to uh, the executive boardroom of the local branch of an international company that uh, we did uh, some very interesting motorized shades in. So I'd like to take a moment and uh, introduce you to the job site here uh, before we start in the boardroom. As we look outside, uh, we've got a lobby that's about 34 feet tall looking straight down kind of from the second floor here and across the top you'll see six oh, I'm sorry five uh, shades solar shades these are all motorized and controlled by a radio frequency uh, control unit and I'm focusing it on right up there it allows them to have full flexibility without any wires going down to the ground so the motors are individually plugged into separate outlets there's little receiver boxes that receive the radio frequency signal. And downstairs, the receptionist has a keyboard. So I didn't bring the remote control up with me, but these are very large shades, and uh, we're looking due west out to the uh, Florida Turnpike. A little bit of a south exposure you know, on that side there. But uh, uh, these shades were very, very needed, and uh, they do a great job in the afternoon sun. But we're here today to take a look at this boardroom. And the boardroom has glass on both sides. We have an elevator in the corridor so that everybody come upstairs is looking through the boardroom directly out to the Florida Turnpike out there. And we have uh, shades that are mounted in a below ceiling pocket. This is a five and a quarter by five and, ex five and a quarter extruded aluminum pocket with a bottom closure flap and the shade is neatly concealed inside. This goes wall to wall. They did not want blackout, so they went with the 1% openness style 2701 fabric, which is white to the outside and a dark gray to the inside, which complements their floor and, and their overall design. On the interior wall, uh, we have the same basic application in that uh, there's a five and a quarter by five and a quarter extruded aluminum pocket and that's mounted into the ceiling. The shade is concealed and whereas the other one goes wall to wall, this one doesn't and we have an end cap on the end so we have a nice clean finished look. Now there's four panels of glass here on the interior and there are five panels of glass to the outside. So we had to do a slightly different treatment. I'm going to come over here to our Sophie RTS TechoFlex switch and the top button which is channel number one controls these shades. I'm going to hit the down button, There's a down button. and these shades are going to come down. We are often faced with odd numbers of windows and we want to have the minimum number of shades but you have limitations on the size of the fabric. So as the shades are going down you can see they're not blackout but they are reducing the amount of light dramatically. Uh, my decision was to go with a double, single, double configuration and have uh, you know, three panels in that fashion. Well, there you go. They weren't supposed to have that there, but uh, somebody's got the garbage can too close to the shades. So the, the gaps on the fabric are uh, centered over the horizontal mullion, so you have very good coverage. And uh, so the light is dramatically reduced, but you're not completely blacked out, and you don't lose all the view outside. So as I get a little closer to the shade fabric, you'll be able to see the flags waving and uh, the cars going by in the turnpike, but the light is you know, dramatically reduced in the room. So uh, we go to the next step, and that's Going back to our DecoFlex wall switch, we press button number two, which is the second button, and we press it down. And here, because we have an even number of panels, and there's four, we have two shades coupled together with one motor, and uh, so there's only one gap in the center, and you can see how it's reducing the light. Now they elected not to do anything uh, motorized on the door or the the top transom. Now we did put a manual shade, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, on the door itself. 
but now, you know, as people get out of the elevator, just like you can barely see the elevator without, you know, they, they have a hard time seeing it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop this manual shade. This is just a, a simple roll shade in a, in a uh, anodized aluminum fascia. And again, the end caps on the side for a nice finished look. And now when they're having a, a, a meeting on the inside, they can feel very private. Uh, I'm going to walk outside and uh, we'll see how this looks. So from the outside, as you can see, there's basically no viewing inside. And that's a reflection of the bright light behind me. But, uh, you know, as far as anybody getting off the elevator, being able to see into the boardroom, basically not going to happen. You know, if I get real close to the glass, putting the camera right on here, you can barely tell that there's a window behind. But this 1% density with 1% on each side of the room is doing a very effective job. And here's what the, uh, the door looks like with that 1% shade. So you see my reflection again and the bright light behind me. Hello up there. But uh, anyway, so this has been a, a really ideal application. And uh, they're very happy and uh, I'm very happy. And I'd like to be able to show it to you. So uh, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna raise, let's do them in the reverse order. We'll raise the outside one going to the up button. And it's going to raise these three shades. And you, know, you can just kind of see how much light is, is now additionally being brought into the room. So you don't necessarily have to have blackout for it to be effective as far as light control. And it's not an ultra bright sunny day. Now, just for purposes of demonstration, see the shade is up and basically invisible. I'm going to go back outside, and now with only one shade down, it's a little different view from the uh, from the hallway. So you can see the you know the natural daylight outside. You can see you know, the flags waving. I don't know if you can make cars out. Probably you can, but you know inside the conference room there's still a relatively high level of privacy. You know, if somebody's standing up, they'll certainly be silhouetted. But as far as being able to look at papers on the counter, or anything like that, pretty much not gonna happen. And it's the same view here through the door. So now, we're gonna go back, channel two, channel two, and up. And we're going to raise the shade. And while that's going up, we're going to raise this. And we'll be back to a, a fully open position. So the manual shade is up, safety device attached to the door so that the chain doesn't get caught in the frame of the door and break. And the, uh, the room is now completely open. And I think I'll just take you out one more time and uh, you'll see the view from when company visitors come out of the elevator. What's the first thing they see? Ta-da! So, anyway. That concludes our uh, little brief visit to this uh, very nice executive boardroom. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time. Goodbye now.